Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and in the previous video I showed how to make one of these reflectors out of a pop can that uh, gives you the ability to increase your range. And in that video, I, to use an example, I created a 5 inch tall reflector and um, the one that I had used to demonstrate how well it worked was 4 inches tall. And I thought I'd just try something different, see if it would help. Well, it was a disaster, a catastrophe. And this is the video that shows it. Now, I had gone out about 4,000 feet using it, and it was more than I uh, had normally gotten. But as you will see when I come in, you see that's, that's what the uh, reflector looked like. All right. And I'm coming along here and... Uh, take a look at the at the direction that the antenna is facing at, relative to the drone and uh, it's facing the wrong way be, and of course uh, the back side of the antenna is blocked so about here I run into some real problems uh, well actually I was too high I needed to come down and of course that caused some issues because I lost a uh, signal uh, as I got down to a lower altitude. Now watch this. That antenna blocked all the signal that uh, comes out behind the controller. So I totally lost all signal and uh, uh, it was uh, a little frustrating to me because I could not figure out what happened to my drone. Uh, it, <laughs> oh, and I was thinking, you know, it's down because it's telling me that there's, there's no signal at all. And I'm uh, getting all these uh, funny messages on my screen. Remember now, I couldn't see what the drone was seeing. And uh, uh, so I came around uh, to the side of the house and uh, uh, started getting a signal and raised it up. And then once I got up into a higher uh, altitude I got a signal again but I'm looking at the screen I have no idea where I really am until finally I see the the construction site uh, down across the road across from my neighborhood and I kinda get oriented but I'm still pretty nervous because I've uh, I've lost uh, orientation now by this time I've turned around and because I know about where the drone must be so I'm Trying, I'm facing the drone with the antenna, and I'm able to uh, get it uh, ready to come back. Although I still don't know exactly where it is, but uh, once I start moving here, I see some uh, familiar. That little park is a familiar spot, and I'm still too low. I love to hit the trees. So now that I found that little park, I start headed home. Start heading home, and. Uh, it was not a good. Uh, <laughs> it was not a good situation. I was uh, I was really nervous and I was kind of upset because I thought I thought. Remember, I can't. I couldn't see what the drone saw. I thought maybe I was uh, my drone had gone down somewhere. So I'll speed things up here and it's coming home and I'm still nervous and I'm standing out there along the road. You can see my white shirt. You could for a second there anyway. There I am. And I'm bringing it in over my house, which I never do. Uh, and I'm, it's lower than I imagined. <laughs> and then finally it's going to land after it hits the tree limbs. So I want to thank you for watching. Do not make the 5 inch shield. Make only the 4 inch shield like the drawing shows at the front. And I want to thank you for watching. And God bless.